you've got all these uh, these pro-Palestinian protesters and all mm-hmm. that, who mm-hmm. none of them know what the fuck. They have no idea what they're Yeah, talking. yeah, most of them are Zero blue-haired there. bisexuals who would get butt-fucked to death if they were ever in Palestine for like yes. a day. But, yeah. yeah. Well, no, in Palestine, they wouldn't have the opportunity to get butt to death because that's illegal, and they would stone them to death before ah. they would butt them to death. Ah. So what's interesting it, about it, it is you've mind. got a lot of these folks that are out there that are just, you know, far, they're... They're literally absolute opposites mm-hmm. of what the Muslim, you know, of what Islam stands for. Yeah. Yet they're out there, you know, fighting for them. And yeah. you're going. I don't is, know what that's about. It's just trendy. I don't think they're educated. <laughs> no, uh, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I would posit. It, posit. It's, I, it's just good old fashioned. They just hate white people, buddy. Honest to God, you, you boil it down to two so things: the, it's the, communism so the Jews and it's anti-white. Are the white people? They consider the Jews white oppressors, colonizers. You know, the Zionists. What about the, the, the co- Ashkenazi? You know? Or the Sephardic. No, Ashkenazi are the white ones. Sephardic are the ones who look like Middle Eastern but are yeah. Jewish. If you're looking for nuanced arguments, you've come to the wrong place with the American activist class, buddy. There's, they're, they're just – they're kittens. They're kittens yeah. that, that – the... I don't consider Jews white. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are in Boca. Yeah. <laughs> the, what about you, Kent? Are you anti-Semitic? Huh? What about you, Kent? Are you anti-Semitic? I love everyone. I, and I really do. And that's one thing that, you know, I think you and I may have talked about this before, but it's interesting. You've got, like, just horrible leaders all over the world. All over the world. All over the world who yeah. pit everyone against each other. And at the end of the day, you know what? Uh, the, just the regular folks like us love each other. We don't care if you're – what your religion, background, whatever. Yeah. You know, if you took a lot of the, you know, the religious leaders out of it and you took a lot of the political leaders out of mm-hmm. it, we're all humans. At the end of the day, if you see somebody in trouble, you don't – you know, you're going to go help them. Yeah, it's it's not white versus black, Jew versus Muslim. It's, honest to God, people who just want to be left alone versus people who refuse to leave us alone. That's all it really comes yeah. down to. Yeah, it, It's the, the, the working class versus the managerial class. These people think, whether they went to an Ivy League school or they come from a family that, of, of standing or, or, or they just have good old-fashioned God complexes, whatever it is, they think they need to save us from us. Yeah, and they, and they will have world peace no matter how many millions of people they have to kill to get it. Like the, these people are, we're, we're dealing with some some really legitimately crazy people, man. Unfortunately, uh, but well, but it, you know what though? It's interesting because let's go back to the leader side of this thing, mm-hmm. not just the crazy followers, but the leaders. Follow the money. Yeah, I mean, this really, you know, people think this is a right or left thing, a Democrat, Republican, conservative, de- uh, conservative, uh, liberal, yeah. and it's really not at all. It's really. The establishment class, because I don't think there's a lot of difference between Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi. No difference. One's got a D by their name, the other's got an R. I'll tell you what, to and, your point, look at John Fetterman, had yeah. a stroke and came back brilliant. Yeah. And look at Liz Cheney. Yeah. Le- John Fetterman's a Democrat. Yeah. And he makes way better points than Liz Cheney. Well, uh, and, an that, and that's Republican. why, again, whether you like Trump, don't like Trump, whatever, I can take the personality out of anything. I, you, you know, listen, you give me the big, of course, I'm more Republican, but you give me the biggest obnoxious dickhead democrat and he's got good policy i'm all in yeah you know i don't care how bad with trump he just had fantastic policy whether you like you know i have the advantage of knowing him and his personality and stuff and he's a good guy you like donald trump as a person very much yep very i love that he's bucking the system he's not these typical career politicians and he's i think he's also loves himself enough where he's going to want to be great and do the best for the country. Well, he wants to leave a great legacy, but what's interesting is the reason he's getting so much resistance is he's not part of that follow the money team. Oh, it's the he's, opposite. He's he took not the money looking, away from him. Yeah, yeah, he's not looking to make a fortune off of, you know, um, pharmaceutical companies. He's not looking to make a fortune off of defense contractors. Yes. He's not about that. He's about I remember the the Soleimani thing, you know, when when they needed to take Soleimani out, who yeah. was, you know, no, Shane enemy Gillis number does one. An incredible bet on that. Oh, yeah, it's enemy Dad number like one. A duck. Well, oh, yeah. He died yeah. like a duck. Yeah. It, well, what's interesting about the Literally whole scenario yeah, is, he really did. Uh, you know, uh, all the generals come in, these you know these hack generals come in, and they're telling him, we're going to have to send all these troops in, and we're going to have to send four ships, and we're all these planes. And it was billions of dollars they were going to spend to take out this guy. And he goes, Trump just literally, I'm sure I'm paraphrasing, but literally says, yeah, we just killed a guy? <laughs> I was like, no, sir, we can't do that. 
Yeah. yeah, we can, can't we? And so he no, finally, we, did, we did twenty years and three trillion of infrastructure. No, no, and that's really that's yeah, no, that where, that's where it was going. So he finally gets in a couple of trusted generals. It's called the New American Century, by the way. Yeah, that, that's not a that's not a bug. That's a feature. Yeah, yeah. Kill him yeah. in the head Bill, with that's, a gun. That's Bill Crystal foreign policy. Well, well, he he, human he brings ever. he brings in two generals who he could trust, and they said, yeah, we can absolutely do that. And three days later, guess what they did? Yeah, they killed the guy, and guess how many people we lost? Yeah, zero.